ICG 653 Universal, ICG 653 Dedicated and ICG 623. General Description of Glands the ICG653 Universal Cable Gland comprises six major components, these being the back nut, middle nut, reversible armor clamping ring or RAC, armor spigot, compound pot and entry component complete with deluge seal. This cable gland accommodates all types of elastomer and plastic insulated cable, incorporating all types of armor, the most common being single wire armor, W, and wire braid, X. The cable gland is specifically designed for use with cables which are not effectively filled. The ICG653 dedicated armor cable gland comprises six major components similar to the ICG653 universal cable gland, the exception being that instead of a reversible armor clamping ring, the cable gland is fitted with individual armor rings to suit each individual armor type or braid. The ICG623 comprises six major components. These are the back nut, rear compression spigot, middle nut incorporating seal, compound spigot, compound pot and entry component. This type of gland is specifically designed for use with non-armored elastomer and plastic insulated cables. Assembly instructions are supplied with each cable gland. Please refer to these for further instructions on cable preparation and installation. Cable preparation, ICG 653 Universal, ICG 653 Dedicated Armor and ICG 623. Allow sufficient length of cable to enable termination of the conductors into the junction box. Strip back and remove the required amount of cable sheath and armor or braid to enable connection to the terminals. Remove the inner sheath level with the armor or braid to expose the conductors. Ensure all cable fillers are removed, meaning plastic tapes, strings and so on. Remove a further 20 millimeters of outer cable sheath for cable glands from sizes OS to A, 25 millimeters on sizes B to C2, and 32 millimeters for sizes D to F. The process of exposing the armor isn't required for the ICG623 cable gland as this cable gland is only suitable for use with non-armored cables. Cable gland installation. ICG653 universal, ICG653 dedicated and ICG623. Fit the ingress protection or IP washer if required onto the entry thread and screw the entry component into the junction box until hand tight. Using a spanner or wrench, tighten until resistance is felt, a quarter to a half turn nominal. Place the back nut, middle nut and the reversible armor clamp or RAC over the cable making sure that the ring for the ICG653 Universal is in the correct orientation for the type of armor or braid being used. For the ICG653 dedicated armor gland, the armor ring must be placed over the cable with the thickest part of the ring towards the back of the cable gland. Push the cable through the armor spigot and spread the armor by gently pulling it away from the inner sheath of the cable. A screwdriver may be required for larger sized cables. Remove the compound pot from the entry component and push the cable through the entry component locating the spigot. Locate the spigot under the armor or braid until the ends are against the shoulder of the armor spigot. Bring up the armor clamping ring and position over the armor or braid. Then bring up the middle nut and hand tighten onto the entry component. Finalize by tightening the middle nut by a further half to three quarters of a turn with a spanner or wrench to make off the armor clamping assembly. Unscrew the middle nut from the entry component and visually inspect that the armor or braid has been effectively clamped between the armor spigot and the armor clamping ring. Remove the cable from the entry component. The make-off of the armor isn't required for the ICG623 cable gland as this cable gland is only suitable for use with non-armored cables. 
Mix the compound found in the two plastic bags until they blend together into one solid color with no streaks. Once mixed, apply to the conductors within 30 minutes, as after this time the compound will begin to stiffen as the curing process begins. Spread the cable conductors apart to enable the compound to be packed into the crotch of the cores. Close the conductors together and bind the ends with tape. Apply compound around and in between the cable conductors, extending no more than 35 mm up the cable. Ensure all voids and gaps are filled. Pass the compound pot over the conductors and push down until it engages on the spigot of the armor clamp. Remove all surplus compound from the top and flanges of the pot, making sure no excess is left as this may impede the removal of the pot when the compound is fully cured for inspection. Pass the cable assembly through the entry component and locate the pot inside the entry. Bring up the middle nut, locate on the entry and hand tighten. A handy tip is to apply the surplus compound onto the outer sheath of the cable in close proximity to the cable gland. This can be tested periodically to ensure the compound is hard before finalizing the termination into the equipment. Allow the compound to cure, then untighten the middle nut from the entry component to enable inspection. If necessary, the compound pot may be removed for inspection to ensure that the packing around the conductors is satisfactory. If required, gaps and voids can be repaired by the addition of further compound. The process of installing the compound for the ICG623 is similar to that of the ICG653 Universal and ICG653 Dedicated Cable Glands, except that the compound spigot must be held in position whilst the installation process is completed. Reassemble the middle nut and the compound pot into the entry component and tighten until hand tight. Using a spanner or wrench, tighten the middle nut onto the entry component a half to a full turn. Hand tighten the back nut onto the middle nut until a seal is formed around the outer cable sheath. Using one spanner or wrench, hold the middle nut in position whilst finalizing the tightening of the back nut by a further complete turn with another spanner or wrench. Complete the installation by pulling the deluge seal down onto the middle nut if applicable. The ICG653 Universal, ICG653 Dedicated or ICG623 Cable Gland has now been correctly installed.